It is my hypothesis that there is some intrinsic value to having a long duration. That things actually get better just by lasting longer. I mean, consider the game of cricket. A single game called a test match can last up to five days, and it can go all day for those five days, so lasting up to 30 hours. And what happens for most of that time? Well, 50% of the time what happens is actually something called a dot ball, where the batter either doesn't hit the ball or hits the ball and doesn't run, because in cricket that's allowed. So my point is, for about 15 hours of a single test match of cricket, you could be watching nothing really happen. Now you may not like the game of cricket, but it's a multi-billion dollar industry with millions of fans around the world, so there must be something compelling about it. And the only thing I can really put my finger on is its extreme duration. But why would being longer make something better? Well, I'm not going to try to explain that for cricket, not just yet, but what about something else like a sitcom? Well, think about long-running sitcoms like Seinfeld and Friends. I think that part of it is you need time to develop character. So, you know, a particular episode may be good, but taken as a whole, as part of this larger series, it's better. Because you can actually get to know those characters, you can become familiar with them. And that's really important. I mean, if you're going to develop a friendship, it doesn't just happen like that. You need time to get to know someone. And the same goes for YouTube personalities, like Jenna Marbles or John Green. You know, after watching these people for a period of time, you get to know them. You get to know that John Green once cleaned puke out of a urinal. And that enriches all of the other content of his that you watch. And this is something I thought before I started Veritasium. That if you just keep making stuff, in a way, it gets better. Because people know you. People know your character, and that's important. The second reason I think that longer things are better is because you need time to develop complexity. I mean, think of a Shakespearean plot like Romeo and Juliet. There's a lot going on there, or something like Lord of the Rings. That may not be my cup of tea, but I can recognize that it has value because of all of the twists and turns, the, the chances for ups and downs, and those are things that we can relate to. I mean, complexity is the fundamental element of story. So you can't really get a story without a long duration. Reason number three, statistical certainty. You know, in this book by Milan Kundera, he quotes an old German proverb which says, Einmal ist keinmal, which basically translates to, what happens but once may as well never have happened at all. And that kind of applies to what they do at the Large Hadron Collider. I mean, think about it. One collision between two protons allows you to conclude exactly nothing. You would have to collide protons 600 million times per second for two years in order to declare the existence of a new particle. And I know that thanks to minute physics. Which, by the way, why do you think they dropped the one from one minute physics? Or would you rather watch a two-minute Vsauce video or a 12-minute video? My point is that length allows you to get more information, whether that's statistical information or information about a particular concept. That is why I think we find these longer videos more interesting. But let's come back to cricket. A few years ago, I was at a conference in Brisbane, and at the same time the conference started, this cricket game started. And I still really didn't understand what it was all about, but anyway, sometimes we would catch little moments of the game, and generally nothing was happening. And uh, meanwhile, I was going to all these conference talks, and I was learning about new things. By the Wednesday, I was feeling pretty exhausted and mentally fatigued by all the information I was receiving. And, uh, you know, we would see a little bit of the cricket from time to time, and by that point it looked like it was going to be a draw. Now, a lot of these five-day cricket test matches turn out to be draws, so don't get me started on that. But anyway, as the conference went on, so did this cricket match. And by the Friday, I was pretty exhausted. I'd learned a lot of things, I'd met a lot of people, and Monday seemed like a long time ago. And yet, I still remembered that my life was intermingled with that cricket game. That cricket game in which not a lot happened, and which was looking like it was going to be a, a draw. And then that Friday, the Australian side put on a very impressive batting performance, and they actually came back to win the game. And at that point, I kind of realized what made cricket interesting to me. It's that it was like life. It intermingled itself with my life and it felt long and arduous and hard and often boring. 
So my point is, maybe we are drawn to these things that are really long and sometimes mediocre because that's the way life is. Because it's long, we get to know the characters and we care about them. It also gives time for complexity to occur, for there to be ups and downs and unexpected moments and that is the key element of story. We also get some deep information about the real state of play and, and what individual players are made of. And we should definitely have statistical significance with all those at-bats. You know, the team that wins really must be the best over that entire duration. And that's what life is about. It's about being really consistent and getting it done, even if it doesn't always look like it's gonna work. So what do you think? Is longevity really a virtue, or is this just something I've spent far too long thinking about? Leave me your uh, comments in the description. Is there something you find kind of dull, but it lasts so long that it's kind of interesting? Things I think are too long. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia. That movie feels like a marathon. Speaking of marathons, marathons are too long, right? But people still do them, so there must be something compelling about that. Just to see if you can do it. The challenge, the complexity, the story, the ups and downs, the way that it is like life. You just keep running and, and it never seems like you're gonna hit a finish line. Yeah, that'd be right. Now obviously I didn't get eaten by a shark, so that's good news. Uh, and thank you to everyone for posting a question to me. I know there's now over 500 questions which have been voted on by thousands of people. If you haven't got in on it yet, you still have time. Click on this annotation or the link in the description and submit a question. A video question would be great, but any question is appreciated. There are hundreds of questions and I'm going to go through each one by hand. I won't answer them all necessarily in my answer video because that would take too long. Ironic, I know. Um, but I will definitely look at each and every question, and if I can make some kind of response, I will, or it'll give me great ideas for videos in the future. So thank you. We're only 14,000 subscribers away from 500,000, or as I like to refer to it, half of a mega subscriber. So uh, yeah, thanks for uh, all your support.